Welcome back guys, how you doing? I have uh, decided to build me some Legion of the Dam guys, just five. I look through their options, I'm sure that there's things that people might want to do with these guys, but I figured let's just go base points. Five guys, no special, nothing. And let's build them out. So, as before, I told you I had these. These are a little weird. They've got something on the front of them. These skulls. But what I've done is I've cut off the base of another head. Because none of these had the base that would fit down in there. So that they would fit into the body properly. And as you can see, I did this guy already. Looks pretty good, actually, that guy. So I'm pretty confident about those skulls. I'm not confident about these other ones. We may have to switch to helmeted guys. But if I can get all but the sergeant, who's going to be this head, done up, <clears throat> then I feel, I feel like I might be there. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing here. Just a little bit of glue. You know, this stuff was ready to pour out like crazy earlier now it doesn't want to come out at all when I was doing that head I was like having to be super careful how much came out so I didn't put too much on those heads the bottoms to get those glued on and stuff but yeah been uh, looking through that Inquisition Codex or no not Inquisition Codex it's the um, Imperial Agents that's what it is and I don't know, I want to try these guys. I've been wanting to do some Legion of the Damned anyway. I'm going to have to paint them up myself. They'll be black. I will attempt <laughs> some kind of flames. But, uh, I'll do my best. We'll see how that goes. But I figured I'd build these guys with you. Why not? Still, uh, still stuff to go. Kind of did really well with my painting stuff. Got a whole army complete and another one ready for the tournament. And not 100% sure if I'm going to do some more painting stuff until the next challenge or not. I am getting some stuff done, but it's mostly prep work for what I've already decided I'm going to do for the next challenge. So that is really what I'm doing. Taking a lot of my time that I have, which is not a lot because of the holidays and my wife being gone. For a while and now she's back but now she's got to catch up and stuff she was doing and it's just crazy and the store has been closed some odd times because uh you know the holidays and they got things to do and different stuff they want to do too and sometimes i just don't have the staff i guess i'm not sure what what the thing is hopefully everything's cool <clears throat> but i'm assuming it's just that you know got a choice you know stay there at the store or do what they've got to do so but that's part of my next next year's project too as well excuse me one second <coughs> throat is awful dry yeah put these together okay I think that's good okay I did that so I could get these heads going now looking at the bodies this is going to be the sergeant because these two are the same, that's two are the same, and that's different. So I'm going to see, let me just see, there's, let me just set this in here to start and look at it. Yeah, I was thinking that would, that would look as like it's some kind of respirator on there. That's what I'm going to try to do. What do you think? I think it's okay. I might have to work with it a little bit. But you can definitely tell that's a skull, so. <clears throat> that's really all I need. The skulls these guys to be I picked out stuff from the bits box I tried to get stuff that at least had some kind of skulls on it to go with that uh, scully kind of motif I'm not gonna do the other hits because I just realized I need to these might need to be adjusted because of weapons and stances so these two are already done so let's just go with that for now just wanted to see how that sat in there tell you what I'm gonna get something to drink and I'll be right back all right, I'm back again. Blue paint on my thumbnail because I just noticed Char Char 
he had made some blue paint mess on my palette, but he got it on my chair. But it's scraping off, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> just going to remember to lock the door. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, I decided to get, these are, I know, Terminator things, but they have the skulls on them, so that kind of works. One of the backpacks has a skull that I could find. And the other, I'm going to do plain pads on the other ones that I'll clean up here and uh, use because I can do, attempt to do some kind of flame or something on them. I guess. <laughs> I'm not super confident about that, but we'll see when I get to that point, right? How that ends up working out. But yeah, I just wanted to do some of these guys, see how it worked out. Because you never know. And I've had them used in a small group before against me. They were really resilient. And they basically they tied up one of my units for a while. That's what they ended up doing. But I think what you know, the opponent had in mind for them was not to tie up that unit. It was just a tactical squad, I believe. And they thought they were going to roll through them and <clears throat> move on. But uh, my tactical guys ended up holding for the whole game. And although they got bogged down with them, I think really what ended up happening was that I bogged down his Legion of the Damned. He expected to shoot and then rush in and uh, kill him off in close combat and move on to the next target. Oh, this one shoulder pad has a little skull at the bottom of it. That's kind of... But that is not what happened. <laughs> it is not what happened at all. And that's all I've really seen them used locally. I've seen them a um, couple battle reports. I don't think people use them much. There's some there's some use for them. You have to deep strike them, so I think that's what throws some people off, especially in tournament play. Because I, I, I've come to believe myself too that you really shouldn't, unless you've got some really good reasoning for it, or you've got a an ability to get them in earlier, or at least get them in for sure. You shouldn't put too much in reserves in the tournament play because each turn counts and points that aren't used are wasted points, basically. So if you're not using them to uh, get uh, points, destroy units, whatever, then they're just not there. You just, you're just you're shorting yourself on your points, basically, for your army. Instead so of say uh, 1850 for a tournament, maybe your first turn you're only bringing 1,000 or 500 or whatever it is that you have on the table that's not in reserve. Now if you have a, an ability to deep strike first turn or something like that, that's different. Um, if you have ability to re roll reserves first turn, that's, that's a thing, but then you know there's kind of a double-edged sword what if you don't make those rolls uh, which is what happened to him in the last tournament with my elder opponent where his seer council didn't come in until turn four when it uh, automatically came in it did some serious damage that turn but by then I had um, made enough progress that he it was a it was just a last ditch effort he was able to force the the um, some points because the steer council was able to move some stuff and everything he was able to move around on some objectives and stuff and if they you know if it had like because of time the game had ended earlier and the steel council wasn't in there or something like that uh it could have been a blowout win which is crazy so yeah bringing units in like that is kind of a dangerous thing but these guys i don't know i don't know they might be useful you bring them in, do some damage in an area, take something over from an opponent. It seems to me that at the very least they would be fluffy fun, right? So that's what we're going for, really. I'm going to set him down there. I'm going to look at him a little bit here. Yep. 
And then we have to choose, I think I'm going to use a sergeant, that's a death watch bolter that I still have, and I think I'm going to check here, this arm is like weird, there it goes, put that there and then we'll figure out what which one of these arms best mates up with that, how about that, so, other than that though, I, other than using them for fluff, I think fluff is the best thing to have, but me, sometimes I do stuff that's kind of unorthodox. And these guys probably fit into that pretty good, I would say, because these kind of guys that, yeah, I could deep strike, like right beside my opponent in an area in a close in situation because they can re-roll their scatter dice and the, the uh, two deep, uh, two d6s so they're, they're they have a better chance of landing where you want them it's not a guaranteed certainly you could roll horribly twice but it seems that uh, the odds are in your favor as they say in the hunger games so i would go with that for sure And these might not look like the miniatures they have, the metal ones, but then again, you know what? I want the metal ones because the metal ones are metal and they're small monopose and it's crazy and they're heavy. And maybe they'll come up with plastic ones and I'll be like, eh, well, I'll add these to those. <laughs> something. <laughs> or I'll use them for something, I don't know. Crazy little tactical squad or something. Right now they look interesting. Pretty interesting. I think this guy, he needs shoulder pads, right? So we're going to put these, this Terminate, Terminator type shoulder pad over here. Like that. And then we're going to put the, something we're going to use for the sergeant. We're going to put this plain one that we're going to try to flame up a little bit. Despite our lack of flame skills or detail painting skills whatsoever. There we go. Is that even... That is not even doing nothing. Not nothing. Let's see if we can get this to touch somewhere. There we go. There's number one. Damn. Looks funny like fish face on there, doesn't it? We'll metallicize that though. Make it look... Uh, I don't know where I got these skulls from, or what that's supposed to be. They're just in the bits box, so they come from some kit that I have somewhere. But they are going to have to do, because it is what I got, right? And I haven't decided what legs to use for the sergeant. Maybe those. So let's get another torso on. Twist him a little bit this way. And let's look at a arm. Gun arm. I'm gonna use this one I think. See how this works. Well, I come down a bit, don't I? Be easier if I had the gun on there. Let's see if we can get it on. I believe this has not originally been clear. I cut this off for some reason. Looks like, well, this is what it looks like I did. At least. Best I can figure looking at it. This is also a Death Watch one though, with a Death Watch little, little computer readout that they have on their little wrist. Hmm, let's see, this one. So I'm going to just about do it. I cleaned it up a little bit before I try to attach it though. Get it, get it looking nice. Sitting here. <clears throat> Been writing down on note card trying to figure out what I'm going to, I'm going to try to be more, what's the word? I might just, I'm just same arm. Just clean this one up though. Just when you cleaned up full. Is that the one? That's it. 
and I've been writing down kind of plans for next year, what I'm going to do with the channel and everything, and I really hope that I can get better with like scheduling and doing stuff that's you know the kind of serial serial type stuff like some of the other channels do like they'll have a like tattoo for you does a why you wednesday or they'll have like a um, certain kind of channel that they do actually i want to oh well that's good on him. This one even looks better though. Look at that guy. Looks pretty awesome. I'm waiting for my microphone. It's supposed to have been ordered, but is isn't here yet. Christmas season, so uh, stuff comes in the mail pretty slow. But yeah, stuff like that. I want to do not exact, not that's not that stuff, but you know, serial type stuff like that, where it's like this is the kind of thing that happens on Mondays or Tuesdays or whatever. I wrote stuff down. Let me see if I find it. I'll set it here. I had a um, oh yeah, weekend re review kind of thing is what I was thinking. Maybe I could do something like that. Like, what did I do this weekend? What have I got cooking? As far as because um, the weekend, like a Saturday, is usually when I'm able to go to the store. So if I haven't done, if I don't do a battle report, then uh, but I just go to play. That'd be a good time to just kind of do like a oral kind of thing, you know. Like, oh yeah, this is what we did and all that. Or if a new miniature comes out that I get, that'd be a good time to, to if I, you know, bought it locally or something like that, be able to, which I try to do whenever they have this stuff, to be able to talk about it and say, oh yeah, this the new mini that I just got and show it off. What else was I thinking? Oh, Whip Wednesday. Whip Wednesdays. WIP. Work in progress. It's a good time to share my, my, what I'm do, working on and stuff like that. I thought that might be something good to do. These are just ideas I wrote in this note card. And then uh, Friday. Uh, what did I put? Friday Night Fight because I'm open to be able to get to do battle reports. That's part of my project next. Um, next year starting 2017 is to get some stuff going for being able to do battle reports easier and then I thought every couple Saturdays maybe not all the Saturdays uh, because of just the way it uh, will have to be because it involves LT and Charlie <laughs> to some extent is doing a uh, Sharing the hobby Saturday every once in a while. Or get the boys and uh, share with you guys as I do stuff that I do with them sometimes about um, painting and other projects that we do together. And in fact, um, I'll show you this, but we'll do it on camera again because this was just showing them LT. Um, put the base coat on this guy all by himself. I helped him, told him what to do, gave him some tips and stuff, but he put that base coat, it's a really good base coat, nice and thin. Um, went over it twice. Might be, need another little thin coat because we were putting on pretty thin coats. But it was all, you know, all about teaching him about that, doing that, you know, thin coats and thin, um, thin layers, not overwhelming the details, and we were going to do that on film today. He wants to do some stuff. He wants to do a smoothie challenge. I told him I don't want to do a smoothie challenge. But uh, that's what he wants to do. <laughs> I told him smoothie challenge would not be good because someone might decide, you know, put the liver and onions and bleach or something on the smoothie challenge list or something. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do this smoothie challenge. He watches those kind of YouTube videos sometimes and he starts to think, oh yeah, this is, let's do this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I try to avoid that kind of crazy. 
doing that kind of craziness. Not really in my best interest, as far as I'm concerned. So this is, this is going to be the last Scully guy right here. This is good, they're all going to be Bolter guys, which is perfectly fine with me. This is how I want them, all Bolters, all regular, no special weapons, no um, power swords or power fists on the sergeants or, or any of that mess. Just, just plain old... Legion of the Dam with their ignores cover bolters and the three up and bone saves. And so we can get that yep down in there and he's looking that way. Looks nice. There's a bag of skulls I saw one company was searching online. I may see if I can get a hold of that. See if I can get that, because I can use it for terrain as well. I'd love to make some more of these guys eventually, maybe. Depends. Depends if I need them. I don't know if you really need a lot of Legions of the Damned, because 25 guys is 125 points. It's a uh, expensive little force, to say the least. But, you know, they have some benefits. I like this one. There he is. Oh, I hope I wasn't doing that completely out of frame. Probably was, wasn't I? I tend to do that. Let me see. I was over, yeah, I was. <laughs> ah. Ugh, sorry about that. It's okay. Now we get the sergeant. He is going to be looking a little fancy. He's actually going to have his helmet still on. Not going to be a skull. Skeleton, Skelmeleton. Um, arm first. And put this good bolter arm on him. Oh, that, that sticks straight out, so his hand will kind of be... The arm I picked will not be... No, we want this to be you know, straight out, don't we? It's not quite, not quite where it needs to be, is it? See if that works. Okay, there we go. I don't know what to do with this arm though. Looks weird if he's just holding it. That just looks sort of weird. Guess we got to get the bits box out. Uh, it's down here. That's mostly what I have though. Is those holding arms, holding the bolter arms, the left arm. I had. Yeah, I got this one. It doesn't have anything. That's part of another weapon system. I don't know if I could turn the arm or I could put something in it. Look at this. So the wrong arm that goes on the other side. That's a, it's a right arm, not a left arm. Yeah, storm bolter arm. <laughs> He's got the bolter already. Uh, well, I could do power sword on him. I could do that, I guess. That's an upgrade option. Or I could do a chain sword if I still wanted to keep the points low. Um, let me think. Should I do a power sword? It's only a few extra points. Let's see. Um, yeah, no. I don't know. Let's look at the book. Let's look at the book. I have to look at my Imperial Agents book. <laughs> I have it in the other book, but this one's handy. So, I'm looking here, and let's see what the points are going to be. Oh, did I just pass them out? Yeah. So, power weapon is 15 points, which take them up to two or 140, 140 points. Uh, bolt pistol. Bolt gun. I have bolt pistols. Do I have a bolt pistol? I think I have a bolt pistol hand. That would be the best option. I think I'm out of that kind of stuff. You always use, always use those up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that back. I think I'm, I think I guess a few more points. Give him a power sword. 
mean, I could try. No, this is a different power sort arm. See, this one is this maybe. Looks weird. Both look kind of weird. Yeah. Guess if I held it down like that. Okay, yeah. We'll use that power sword. So throw it under back in there. And uh, getting rid of this one too. I think that's all we need. So, so you guys get to see see my failureific times because I'm always always doing this. <laughs> always messing up. <laughs> I think things are gonna work and then they don't work because I don't test them out right away. Pre-test and get everything prepared. <laughs> yeah, prepared. Well, I got this arm out too. If I should put that one away. I'm going to clean it up though while it's out. Since I'm cleaning up stuff. This one too. There we go. Get that back out. Put that away so we know we're clean up and done. I'll forget to put it away and then I'll have issues in the bits box. Alright, so, I guess next we should do this arm, get that settled before we get too far with it. So this guy's going to be seriously Death Watch um, stuff on him. I'm going to go, yeah, I like that, looks good. And come down some, match the other arm. I think that's it right there, yep. That looks good. Looks menacing enough. Now throw some shoulder pad, head, and backpack all at once. To be able to get all of those attached before uh, glue dries for sure. Put his head looking straight forward. Looking to come get you, whoever you is. Now the reason I'm putting the Terminator pads is because they have the skull on them, so. And, you know, figure maybe Legions of the Dam are uh, great warriors that are being rewarded uh, to come back and continue the fight for humanity by the Emperor. So there's the last dude. Got him done. I put the crest thing on him because, yeah, when it be known, Sergeant, he's still got his helmet. He's not been... Uh, Scale melatonin last. <laughs> and there we go. It gives us a little bit of everything. So I'll zoom in here. Bring you in. And let's flip them like this. That way you can see them. Maybe you can. Eh, sort of. Like there. Ah. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, guys. Uh, Enjoy chatting with you, hanging out, building some stuff. We will uh, put these off to the side so they'll dry and we'll get them on our two paint list so that we can get these guys maybe on a tabletop and check them out. Add some Legion of the Damned to our fortifications and be able to do that. Alright, if you like this, please leave me a thumbs up. Comment down in the comment section if you want. I answer comments or questions as soon as I can. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. You just hit the subscribe button and then tap that bell right beside it so you can get updates whenever new videos come out. And if uh, you're looking for some other 40k channels, look down in my subscribe list. Lots of cool channels you can subscribe to. Lots of great content there. I guess that's it, guys. So... I will talk to you, you right there, later.